you. What is up, heroes, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Insurgents. So last episode, we got the first gym badge, and it turns out Orion, the gym leader's rock, was actually a Reshiram, which was pretty awesome. Then we started doing some side quests, and we caught a new Delta Pokemon. Got this Delta Apom, which has been trained up a little bit, so we can use him. He's level 25 now, and he is actually pretty awesome. Ghost and normal type, and looks so adorable. I actually love this Delta Pokemon so much. Kind of see what it looks like when it evolves, but. Today's episode, we're going to head to the next town by going south. And I'm pretty sure as well we can catch a new Delta Pokemon on the way. Not going to spoil what it is, but pretty sure we can get one if I remember correctly, that is. So what I need to do as well, which I haven't done just yet, is if I catch a Steel-type Pokemon, which I just remembered right now, should have done this when I was grinding, but I totally forgot. If I catch a Steel-type Pokemon, I can go into this house right up here and trade it for a Delta Cypher. Which I'm actually going to quickly go do now. So I'll see you guys once we catch the uh, the Steel type Pokemon. Alright, we are back and we actually caught a Magnemite just in the cave before you come to Sun Touch. So we can go trade that for the Delta Cypher. I don't think I want to use the Delta Cypher, to be honest. I used it before and not that I didn't like it. As I said, we're going to be getting. Oh. Hey, kid, it's me, the director. Listen, you're a hit. People love you on TV. Am I coming back to the broadcast tower? We'll start filming the next episode right away. Ooh, yes, we will do that right away once we can get this. Because you guys told me the next uh, mission from the director. Next episode we filmed is actually a pretty cool Pokemon. So, got a rare Delta Pokemon. Going to trade it for any Steel type. There you go. Goodbye, little Magmite. So let's see what this uh, Delta Cypher looks like. I, I know what it looks like, but you guys probably don't. I think it's ice and steel? Or it's just pure ice? I think it might be pure ice. Ice and fighting, oh wow. It's not bad. One of the main reasons we're not going to use it though is because we are already going to get an ice type or part ice type Delta Pokemon at some point. And it's probably going to be this episode, so we don't want to use two ice types. Well, the one's ice fighting, the other's going to be ice electric. If you know what the ice electric is, you, you know. Not that it's probably going to be, but <laughs> oh man! If you guys are going, right, for those of you who don't know what the uh, the Ice Electric is, it's a pretty, pretty awesome Delta Pokemon. Just don't know what I want to evolve uh, it into. Thinking one of my favorite Pokemon, but I don't know. Just don't know. So let's go fly back up. And head to the broadcast tower. Go and speak to the director. I have a few balls. Um, I can't buy any more, so I'm pretty much gonna get like one shot trying to catch this. So hope it all goes well. <laughs> uh, great work on your last mission, Voltsy. This one's sort of the same thing. You see, we had reports of one of those very rare Delta species Pokemon over in the Rezai Rezai Desert. I'd like you to check it out. Of course, you can catch it if you want. Just need footage for our TV show about finding wild Pokemon. Sounds pretty good. Voltsy, the ratings from the last episode are out the roof. Want to retain viewers? We have to have an exciting second episode. And guess what? Not only was there a rare Pokemon reported here, that rare Pokemon is a Delta species. That's right, Delta Pokemon, the rarest of the rare. If you can find it, it'll be the most popular channel on TV. Again, we've got helicopters everywhere in the area. What you need to do is use your skills as a trainer to find that Delta. You want to capture it? You can. Just get us some footage. Talk to my associate if you need a tip. Uh, actually, I might need a tip. Uh, doing great. Definitely think there's going to be uh, like Farnaxu. Seeing some sort of sand rustling, but wherever it's under the surface, new moves. Stop me. Okay. Okay, that's, that's got to be it. There. Got it. Wait, run into me, I should say. Oh, look at Delta Grimer. I think we'll keep this in the team for a little bit. Looks adorable. Let's go for a fake out. It's level 25 as well, so I can go straight on the team. Okay, we're good, we're good. Alright, let's start throwing some balls. So we can get this bad boy. Go on, great ball. That was close. Right, one more great ball, come on. Nice, we got it. I can't think of a good name for it, but Sandman. 
Oh, for the game crash for a second, I was getting really scared. Whew. Right, so a species discovered by Echo the Third. With sand absorbed into its circulation, it can vanish into surrounding sand to escape from predators. Ooh. Oh, this is terrible, but just sand man. It's a female, so it should be sand woman, but oops. What do we got down on tape? Come back over here. Okie dokie. Delta Grimer, that was awesome. You are fantastic, Boltsy. Got the whole thing recorded. I'm gonna head back now. Here's your payment. Hey, 3,000, not bad. Thank you very much. So what moves have we uh, got on this bad boy? It's got Sap Sipper and Sand Tomb Swallow. Split up and minimize. Okay. Could be worse. Could be worse. So I think we'll keep Delta uh, Grime on the team for a little bit. Uh, Scythe will keep on the team just for whatever reason. We're not going to use it, but so it won't be on the layout. But Grimer we'll use for a bit. We'll put Delta Scythe in the box once we find our next Pokemon. Our team is actually looking pretty good right now. Pretty good. Don't have to rely on Eevee to sweep a gym leader or anything like that now. Got a pretty good team. Finally. <laughs> Alright. Let's now head out past the house where we got Delta Cypher because we haven't even gone past there yet. And it's been like, you know, end of last episode and a lot of this episode. Just been trying to get past places. The only question is, where is the Pokemon I want to find? I think I know where it is, to be honest, if I remember correctly. But it has been, like, what, two and a half years? So if I miss it, I will get it off screen and get it next episode, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember where it is, so it should be fine. Should be fine. I forgot to mention as well, I just love the other APOMs like Sprite when you're, you're battling, just looking at you like holding its face like, oh no! <laughs> I'm in the battle! Why'd you send me out? <laughs> Please, take me back! But the thing is, he's pretty good, so... Yeah, again, sent back. Can tell this oh, Sucker Punch. That's really annoying. I was gonna say, why do you have Sucker Punch? But I remember, like, someone told me Sucker Punch in Japanese was like sneak attack or something like that. So it makes sense, because I say, how do you punch Hunter? You've got no arms. You're like Diglett. Shouldn't be using a Sucker Punch. Just unfair, man. Just unfair. But look at that XP. Wow. That crocodile. It's all good. Ice Fangs. Oh, I missed the Razor Leaf. Oh, 1 HP. That is redonkulous, dude. Liver 1 HP. That is so redonkulous. Come on, Sam, man. You get the XP. Wait, what? Oh, I thought we were the Sand Tombs. I thought... When I clicked Fight, I thought the first thing we selected would be Sand Tomb. Now I'm going to die. Because I thought... Oh, damn it. They want to spit up. Oh, Eevee. Why not? You beat everything else in this game. I have to go heal up now. Ugh. Right. Uh, I need to just double check the surrounding area as well. Make sure we don't miss any, any hidden grottos or anything like that. Alright, so I think we want to surf across here. I'm going to go heal up in a little bit though. Alright, so I went past around the house last episode. Got that little item that was up there. Let's make sure we don't miss anything. So this, I'm pretty sure we can't go across here unless we have a certain thing that will take part a couple episodes, maybe. Don't want to spoil anything, but I think I remember what that's for. Uh, no hidden grotto. Hidden grotto right there. Hey. So what we got in here? We have... Ugh. This little fella, I'm going to save it just because it is a delta. I doubt it is a delta, but... I hate the monkeys. Hey little fella, just gonna uh, tap with you. Get my XP. Didn't even get level 30. That's so, ah, so useless. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna quickly go heal up, so I'll see you guys in a second. All right, we are back, nice and healthy. Sending more hidden grottos or items just chilling somewhere. Uh, doesn't look like it. Yo, wanna battle? I want you, darling, if you think you can handle my Pokemon, you have another thing coming. Ooh. 
feisty, alright. Okay, I can handle a gloom easy. So, fake out. And shadow punch. Ah, oh, stun spore, seriously. Oh no. Don't keep mega draining. So we get paralyzed once, it's like over. Oh, we're good, we're good. Oh, I just won that. Alright, Blossom coming out. Uh, better just go. Kuruma. So we don't have a really good time against grass types. Flinch it. Lucky you missed. I'm going for a swift. Gotta get swifty in here, man. No! Don't get paralyzed. I said get swifty. Not get paralyzed. Get swifty! Oh, one HP left. Damn. I was on 31? No, 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 no. Okay, good. Eevee, you are not evolving. This is gonna get annoying. Eevee's gonna wanna evolve every single level now. And I'm gonna apologize to you guys because it's probably gonna get annoying after every battle. I'm just like, oh no! I'm not allowed to evolve right now. Stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> because we need Eevee to stay an Eevee. Because. Eevee is too good as an Eevee. <laughs> right, let me get some. Actually, I don't even need super. Pretty good. Let me get some more great balls for later on. Right. Anything in this uh, Pokemon Center behind here? No. Let's go and talk to this dude. She considers it getting a secret base. Uh, they're all the rage these days. Oh, secret base, eh? Sounds pretty cool. Alright, so everyone's nice and healed. Let's go explore this town so we can find. I moved to Mechi Town after living in Helios City for a year. The small town, the feel of this place, really appeals to me over, he over Helios. The sound of the birds chirping, the river roaring. I actually love it here. Yeah, this is a quite relaxing place. Yo! I do know Nora from Midna Town. She's actually my sister. She grew up in this very household. Oh! I do know Nora. Got a pretty cool sister. Some of the water in the city is darker than the rest. Does that mean that there, there's more water down below? And how deep it goes. Very deep. Once we get dive, we should definitely come back and uh, try a uh, dive under. So we can find. I uh, want to buy an egg. I don't have 3,000, but yes, I will buy that off you. Okay, once we get a bit more money, we'll come back. I'm going to remind myself, I'm going to write this down, so I'm just put egg. So I can remember to come back and buy that. Or I'm just going to look at my notebook and go, Egg? Why did I write egg? <laughs> Do I need to buy eggs? <laughs> it's so quiet here in uh, Mechi Town nowadays, not much happens here. Well, hopefully someone will give me free stuff. The best stuff is an egg, which I have to pay for. How is it that in almost every region, it's always a kid that saves the world from the teams? I don't understand if there were one or two fluke victories, but that can't be a coincidence. Mm. You're right. Just less than a time with my Pokemon. My Luxray and I have had so many great moments together. Good. I'd like to give you a gift. Hey! Charge Beam. There we go. Free stuff is best stuff. Woo! Okay, so. Now let's head past the bridge. Oh, look who it is. Hey Voltsy, how are you doing? It's me, Nora. I see you finally made it to Mechi Town. I love this place. I used to live here, actually. Just wanted to meet up and talk about something. But first, how about we battle? It's time to put my trainer with Celebi into practice. Probably not a good idea to shout out, you know, your trainer with Celebi. Because I was in the house, like, you know, just we were battling in front of him and I heard that, but like, yo, give me that Celebi. But this should be a pretty easy battle. I'm just going to Shadow Punch. Come on, don't do any damage to me. Aerial Ace will fine. Good. Got a shadow Punch. Wait, would Ghost of the Moves affect me if I'm part normal as well? I just wondered that. Would they? I don't know. I don't think I've ever... Is there a, a Ghost normal type in a normal Pokemon game? I don't... I don't remember. Wait, was this... Uh, I don't know what this was. This is... Oh, Floet. That's fine. Let's keep Shadow Punching. 
Wish? Ah. Uh, don't wish right now. No! One more. Shadow Punch, there we go. This Apom's actually really good. I actually like it so much. God, you're just bringing out Celebi right now. Okay. Okay. Your best versus my best. Alright. I mean, like, you're trying to keep Celebi hidden. It's probably not a good idea to bring it out. Just saying. That's like no damage. Swift. Gotta get Swifty. Gotta get Swifty. No. Celebi too strong. Celebi too strong. If we just go for a fake out. Do a teammate damage. If we outspeed it, we should kill it, right? Now it's with me. Damn. Okay, it's fine. Still got Gaia, still got teams left. Uh, that's Body Slam. That's fine. They shouldn't heal up or anything like that. Okay, oh my god, 5,000 XP? Damn! Go back, uh... Yeah, just stay in. Keep body slamming. Critical hit, nice. And last one is a Swadloon. Um, I'm going to stay in. Guy's doing work right now. I bring him out. Destroy the competition. That were face you, nice. Even with Celebi, I can't win. Damn right. Did you see me using um, you? No. That was cheating, Nora. Well, that was intense. Starting to get convinced that prophecy was about you instead of me. Wish I were able to read it. That way I could know for sure. Anyways, I need you to talk to Damien. He seemed uh, trustworthy, so I told him about uh, Celebi and Mew. But I don't think I fully explained to him just how important it is to keep it a secret. Do you mind doing that for me? Last I heard he was heading south to Vipic City to challenge Xavier. I'll do it myself, but I have other things on my mind. I'll see you around, Voltsy. Great. Tell a kid I just met about a big secret. That's, uh, that's smart. Ah, damn it, Nora. Can't trust Damien right now. Probably Blab. What if he gets caught, you know, by team... Well, I need the cultists. He's gonna blab super quick. He'll be like, don't kill me. Look at, look. Oh, see, my friend has a Mew and my other friend Nora has a Celebi. That's what he would do. Oh, there's a Pika Taxi, that's cool. I ran all the way here. From the Kanto region. Can't feel my feet. Oh, damn. Yo! How do the people at the daycare not know what's going on in there? They never learn about the uh, Stalin Beedrill or something? <laughs> How's this, uh, a sector of the Rangers somewhere in this region? I don't know where, so I'd love to join up. Yeah, I wonder if we can join the, uh, the Rangers. Pretty cool. Yo, what up, dude? Hey, check this out. If your Pokemon would faint when taking damage, this item lets you live at 1 HP. Ooh, Focus Band. Nice. Yeah, you thought I meant a Focus Sash, didn't you? <laughs> I did actually for a second. I say, ooh, Focus Sash, and then I was like, oh, Focus Band. You have a nasty rat hat infestation in the forest east of here. Luckily, a few of us were able to band together to clear it out. We uh, repurposed the space for secret bases, which was a fantastic idea. We had a ton of money from that industry already. This town was named after Mechi, one of the gym leaders here when the region was first founded. She had, a, she had a fairy type gym. She went undefeated as long as she was here. She retired eventually and we named the town after her because of her winning streak. Place of our gym, we built secret bases to sell to newcomers. We tried buying one. If they're not that expensive, I will try and buy one. But I want some money to get an egg. Wish I had a girlfriend. Ooh. Sorry, bro. My favorite one of grass types. You know, if you ever want to try using grass types, this may help. <gasps> Miracle Seed! Thank you, lady! That is actually really helpful. So we can give that to, uh... Gaia. There we go. Uh... Let's just give that to, I don't know, Chroma for now. I actually really like my team a little bit. Alright, so secret bases are this way, right? How much are they? I'm gonna tell you, I am known as the secret base manager. Trainers from all over the world come to me to purchase them and manage their secret bases. You know, you can do a lot of things in your secret base. You can decorate it with trophies or plushes, or even hire people to work for you there. Ooh. Okay. 
lay traps on your base to prevent your friends from easily sneaking in. Okay. Uh. Oh man. Don't have. Fun. Okay, I'll come back. So I can't go in there without him. Yeah. Okay. So we need eight thousand poker dollars to get the egg and the uh, the secret base. My opinion, the best Pokemon are the ones with the best move sets. Like Smeagol, he has the biggest move set of any Pokemon. He is really annoying. Not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, yo, what up? Been living here in Mechi for as long as I can remember. Back then, our only source of food came from that berry patch. But then we learned to farm and fish. Our town has only grown since. Good. Let's go check my spirits there for a second. A lot of travelers find this town tricky to find their way out of. You're actually yeah, supposed to go south down the river. Okay. Thanks for the uh, tip. We'll be using the daycare in our town. You might find this useful if you want to become a Pokemon breeder. Ooh, definitely not. I never kind of got into the Pokemon breeding thing. Like, uh, the only time I ever did it was, oh, she had a boyfriend. Oh, I know someone actually looked for a girlfriend. The, the only time I ever did breeding was when I needed a, um, you know, like a Magby or something back in the old days. I haven't really used breeding since. Don't use the daycare to like level up, but we can head south. Get out of this town. Wait, do I need to heal up? I think I do after the Nora battle. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Oh. Okay. If I have a repel, I'll pop one right now, but I don't think I do. Come on, have a repel. No. Okay. I'm gonna explore around here because I reckon there's gonna be something good down here. Maybe just dive spots, but this is coming back to me. I think this might be here. This. Maybe not, actually, this might be me just take part of the route. Pokemon I wanna get, I think, is around here somewhere. Let me double check, so I came. Yeah. Oh, hidden grow. Come on, have a Delta. Oh, that's the Pokeball. Level Ball, eh? Hey. Alright, kid, show me, show me what you got. <laughs> show me what you got. <laughs> okay, dude. Ooh, that's go brilliant. Critical hit. Good stuff. I'm not going to stay in. Let's get soul level 30. We should really start training that Grimer up a little bit. Like, I am 99% sure the Pokemon I want to get is in this area here. I think. I really hope so. If I'm wrong, it doesn't matter, because we'll get it eventually. We are not, not getting this Pokemon, you know? And if you guys got any more tips, do let me know, because you guys have been giving me some helpful tips on where to get these Delta Pokemon with trades and all that stuff. I really appreciate it. Because, you know, obviously the more Delta Pokemon we can get, the better. Uh, healing up. Potion up. We have two red candies. Ooh. I'll save that for like in a late game, like I always do. A lot of times I always save my uh, red candies just before the champion of the Elite Four just to get them last minute, you know, levels up and if, I, if I need to, but I would say 60% of the time I always forget to use my red candies throughout the whole game, which is not good. Not good, but damn, soul. I I'll train up um, Grimer, but right now. I'll just, oh no, the burn. It's gonna ruin everything. It's fine, it's fine. Critical hit, that's good. Yeah, oh my god, ghost type moves don't affect me, so I'm part normal. Oh my god. Soul is really good. Woohoo! So all my weak against dark. Fighting shouldn't affect me. Am I just weak to dark? I might be. Uh just swallow. Actually, this won't affect it, will it? Ooh, gotta switch out. <laughs> I think, like, my soul is just weak to dark. That's really good. Oh, come on, just get through it. There we go. Don't have another ghost. You can have another ghost if I know you are, but. Rotom. Uh, we got stain on something that we can do. Don't have levitate. I'm pretty sure it does have levitate, though. Yep. Knew it. 
Just have to double check. Well, luckily it's gonna dab our razor leaf if we can land a razor leaf. Oh, what is the accuracy of razor leaf? I need to know, like, I, I miss more razor leafs than I land. That's what I feel like anyway. Grassy terrain, um... I'm pretty sure Grassy Terrain also heals the other po or the opponent's Pokemon as well, so I'm gonna say yes, don't want it. Trying to like Tapu Bulu has it, doesn't it? I have really used uh, Grassy Terrain. But if I if I find what I'm looking for up here, I'm gonna quickly uh, go to the Pokemon Center just to heal up. Because next, oh, can't save seriously. Next Pokemon is going to be very oh, it's got to be it here. Yeah, this is what I remember. I knew it. I knew it. So I'm going to go heal up, guys. And in a second, we're going to go see our new Pokemon. Nice and healthy. Uh, when I went back to heal up, I actually bought the egg. So the egg is now on the team, getting ready to hatch. And now I think about it, I really should put Cypher in the box because we're going to use Cypher and uh, could have had this Pokemon on the team to train up a little bit. But if we go switch with soul soul can do a little bit of damage all right here we go it's a delta rolls delta rolls and the typing is awesome and now i don't know what to make i'm thinking i want to make a gardevoir because i used gardevoir the last time i played it and i really liked it but apparently people said galade is really awesome as well so i just don't know but we are getting this bad boy look at it it's a female i'm probably just gonna get it uh, make it a gardevoir all right let's just uh Bake it out. Shouldn't kill it. Okay, time to restart the game. Alright, let's try this again then. Let's not go for a fake out, because that will kill it. No, come on, dude. I want you so bad. Could be on the team. There we go. Got the Delta Rolts. And the typing for this is really awesome. If the game doesn't want to crash like this, there we go. It takes a long time to get the XP up. So Delta Species discovered by Echo the Third and Zero Breaker. It uses its own ice and electricity to help make its terrain and life easier. So it's electric and ice tie. That is so cool. Give it a nickname. Yes. There we go. So it's transfer to the box. We need to put that on the team. A7 do a little bit of grinding for it. So I think we're going to end this part right here. Next episode, we are going to continue down Route 4 and uh, head to the next town. And by then we should have probably a Kalia. So I'm gonna train that roll up a little bit so we can use it for next episode. Maybe in a God of Orcs, I might try and get one level 30 and obviously Kalia evolves at level 30, we'll see. And probably for next episode the egg will hatch and we'll see what it is. So thank you guys for watching, have a great day, see you next time, peace.